In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my new favorite little blitz setups out of the nickel over. It's actually becoming one of my favorite base defenses because we can guarantee that we're going to get really fast pressure. At the same time, we're going to be able to have really, really good coverage. Now, if you want to get my full nickel over defensive ebook, make sure you're in the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. Get you access to all of our ebooks, including the nickel over defense and any new ebooks that we're going to be releasing. We're dropping a brand new ebook this week. Week. Make sure you're in the Patreon if you're not already. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. We're talking about Nickel Over out of the 46 playbook. We're taking a look today at Nickel 2 Trap. And I'm uh, going to show you something interesting with this defense. So if you take a look here, if I was to pinch my defense, you're going to see that it's going to look just like this. Um, what this allows is I can just walk this guy off of the edge really quickly. And now I'm in a really good blitz look. Right, we can run cover two basically to both sides, and we're gonna be able to get double pressure at the quarterback, as you can as you can see right there. This little piece right here is super, super effective. Now, again, um, I love to bring this guy off up because he can be in anything, and I'll show you that in just a second. But you'll see right here, you know, I could take this guy and you know, we could do a lot of different things with him. We could play man lock on the backside and then do something like this. This gives us an ability to have a lot of interesting looks from the nickel over play, uh, formation. Now, the other thing that I wanted to go over was the fact that when we audible, you'll see here if I re if I um, whoops if I um, move him and then I audible, you're going to notice that he will actually stay down there, so we can mix some coverage into our audibles, for example. So if I come out in the nickel two trap, or um, another play you can come out in is the nickel, or cover two invert, I apologize. So you're gonna get the same basic pre-snap look you see here, same basic pre-snap look. Now what I can do is while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna audible to cover four quarters, pinch my defense, and it looks exactly the same. And now you see here that our quarter is going to be down here, but now we're playing match coverage. So we're in a maximum coverage defense, even though we can also easily send pressure from this as well. So we're combining a pressure look and a max coverage look, and it looks the same. That's the idea for this defense. But again, if you just bring this guy off the edge, blitz him, you can take this nickel corner and put him in a zone. And then from here, like our coverage defense, by and large, is going to be pretty intact. We can play a hard flat to this linebacker. One of my personal favorite things to do, I love to go with a hard flat over here and then just throw this guy in man coverage just like this. Something simple like this. And now we're in a five-man blitz. And as you can see there, that time the blitz didn't come in. Um, but I'm just telling you the practice mode is a little wonky with that. Obviously, we weren't using over the middle. Uh, to stop that post route. But anyway, again, just move this guy out here. And what you should see is pretty decent little pressure. Kind of bumped into the defensive tackle. Uh, but another thing that you can do with this blitz is you can also combine it with a contain. So um, you're just going to bring this guy off the edge. You're going to hit QB contain. See how he's on the contain now. And then again, like I said, you go ahead and pinch your defense. And you'll see now um, that that contain will be a little bit more effective. So you can kind of mix all this stuff in, um, you know, in one in uh, in one little package, which is really nice. So again, just bringing walking this guy down, you know, and then you have the defense here. Um, we get the linebackers pinched properly, uh, but you see here how this can be a very intimidating look because. We can have the dual slot blitzes. We also have the linebacker, the running back intact. And then as you see right there, we're able to come off the edge off the left side. And then again, at any time, we could uh, very easily within this defense, we could send uh, six, right? So we could send six off both edges, maybe do a little defense that looks like this on this backside here. You know, and now we're sending six, and, you know, you see how fast this pressure is going to come off the edge. So it's going to be tough to, to kind of diagnose, are they sending six or are they uh, sending four? And based off of that, you see here another little trick. This is kind of something that is also becoming kind of popular is this little kind of disengage where you can put this guy right about here. And sometimes this D end will actually come or he'll come through the B gap. So you see how you don't even necessarily have to move him that much to make it effective. Like if I just blitz the safety and contain, and then I'm just gonna move him just a little bit down, just like so, may need to move him a little bit out like that. 
now I'm in a position where you'll see this blitz will a lot of times disengage through that B gap. So you'll, a lot of times you'll get those little pass offs. So you can kind of mix that in to some other stuff that we can do. So now I'm going to bring him down. It looks like I'm going to blitz him. But now, so they're going to be saying, okay, well, we're going to try to, you know, throw the ball quick, hot out to the back. So they try to throw the ball hot to the back. They're going to a blitz look, and we're actually in a coverage look. And that's the best part about the nickel over is its ability to, um, you know, be schematically sufficient because of the fact that we could do stuff like blitz this little guy here and then, you know, have coverage behind it that can guard all of the different snap throws, you know, that we're going to experience on the, um, you know, from the offensive perspective. So, you know, as you can see here, nice little defense. And again, the beauty of this is the disguise. The beauty of this is the disguise of everything. You know, the fact that we can disguise this is really, really important uh, to the defense. So you see here now we're in max coverage. Looks almost identical. We can make a couple adjustments to make it a little bit more, um, you know, conclusive and identical. But as you can see, this can make this coverage super effective. And now we're in max, you know, drop eight coverage and our edge threats or whatever we want to put on the D line can go crazy. So this is a little nickel over mini scheme video I wanted to do. Kind of just talking about this primary thing here where we can walk this guy off the edge and put him in a blitz look that can be very, very effective. So... Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the entire nickel over defensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. Gets you access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates. And like I said, we're dropping a brand new ebook this week. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to jump in the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.